Hey guys, we're out in Saudi Arabia and today is the very first official test of this beast, the Extreme H Hydrogen off-road race car. So we're going to show you around. Extreme H, the world's first hydrogen-based racing series. <laughs> Kevin's doing the camera work behind the screen. Say hi, Kev. Kevin Hansen, celebrating. Our best teammate ever. Uh, but yeah, very excited to get this car out. Um, as you can see, it's huge. It doesn't have most of its body work on at the moment, so you can just see a lot of its raw cage. That is the bumper. And out the back is the, the rear whole body. I don't know what you call that. Well, rear body work. Rear body work, there you the, go. Yeah, rear, rear body work. Uh, coming in to the car, we have the two electric motors like the Extreme E-Car, so we have two 200 kilowatt motors. Uh, but the big change for this car, obviously, is the hydrogen. So one hydrogen fuel cell and two hydrogen tanks, uh, which are stored up the back here. In there, you can see there's a, a whole lot of extra protection that goes around. Up here, you've got the two two tanks. <laughs> yeah, going to I'm not sure if you can see it's that. It's better from that side. <laughs> and then you have the fuel cell that sits in here and then right along the floor you have the battery i'm not sure if you're going to be able to <laughs> show that battery battery and then in here we have a whole lot of uh this honeycomb aluminium impact structure and some more up there and then a whole roll cage just for the hydrogen system this is cooling for the tanks and the cell so yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of bodywork. I think there's, there's a few hundred kilos extra roll cage that goes into this car. It weighs about 2.2 tons. Uh, this is the other big feature of this car, which is the twin Fox dampers that have live valving. So that's something that we're really going to have to look at today when we test, because there are just so many adjustments uh, and features more than we've ever had before. So very excited to check that out. Uh, as you can see, just how meaty all the suspension is, double wishbone huge huge uh, amount of strength that's built into this car because it is so big and, and so heavy uh, with these really chunky tires um, these tires are new for this year as well we've got uh, 37 inch i think um that were developed specifically this uh, is actually a better angle from the so oh in yeah, here you can, you can see, see more the there. fuel cells or the tanks and the fuel cell is down here where's then, your office then my office okay come into my office just are these pretty lights. Yeah. So right now it's green, so it's, it's okay. But these obviously have all the the extra warning lights, um, just in case there's some fault in the system. The car will go into a protection mode, and um, then everyone knows to stand Stay clear. Safe. But there's there's so many redundancies built in that um, yeah, really it's all very well thought out. Um, the biggest difference in this car is that the seat is in the middle of the car, so which is quite cool. No passengers, and it's a bit. It's a bit more of a mission to get in. This is high quality content you're getting in. <laughs> we haven't quite, quite worked out the fastest solution for that yet, but we will today. Uh, the car's still being worked on, so I just don't mind that. So in the cockpit, do you want me to take it? Or you can... Oh, what yeah. do you want? Uh, so in the cockpit, steering wheel. That's a good time. It's quite, quite important. Oh. Let's lock the steering column off. This car has a lot more adjustment. We can adjust the position of the pedals with this pulley, with this cable here. For my short legs. Kev's yeah, legs are a bit longer short. than mine. <laughs> uh, the wheel at the height adjustment as well. Um, do you want me to take that? I'll show yeah. there. We have so many, oh, you can wave, Kev. <laughs> we have the cameras, the side cameras here. And over here on the dash, we have a whole lot more options. Um, this is obviously the, the handbrake here is just all the basic drive modes, wipers, lights, things like that. Um, but over here we have all the maps so you can adjust what percentage of power goes to the front and the rear axle and then also the, the torque delivery of, of that power as well. So you can adjust how that power is being distributed uh, at what speeds, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also some options for a traction control setting which can adjust the delivery front and rear and then the live damping for the Fox shocks as well. So we have a whole lot of different modes as well within that that we can select depending on the conditions. These are the start buttons, uh, main 12 volt mode, high voltage mode, hydrogen mode. And hopefully we never press the fire extinguisher button 
This is the air intake um, for the hydrogen tank, which is pretty cool. That's where it gets the, the air in through the big filter there. Um, steering wheel, lots of buttons. I don't actually know exactly what all those buttons mean yeah, yet. Because we haven't marked them out, have so, we? Uh, <laughs> it's going to be... Are you excited, yes. Kev? Extremely excited. I just hope that my teammate brings it back in one piece for me every time. <laughs> I just hope know. my teammate uh, doesn't speed through the slow zones. Yeah. Backward holding on to it to perhaps use it in a different part of this course. Yeah, oh, no, no! Kevin was late on the brakes. I think Kevin's missed the waypoint marker. I would, I would, I would need a <laughs> good teammate to help, help that out with. Uh, what else is there? Is that about everything? I think that's about everything. I'm going to find a more graceful Beautiful. way to do that. Uh, the blue cone, that's a pretty good feature. Yeah, high tech. <laughs> so when the car's turned off, obviously at the moment it's on with the lights, but when it's turned off overnight, you have these signs. Just if there's no lights on the car, so you know that everything is discharged. Uh, this is Nacho, our engineer. Hi. Say hi, Nacho. <laughs> uh, so he is going to work out for us what the winning settings are. So we can go do that. Uh, let us know if you've got any questions um, and more info you want on any of this. And yeah, we'll let you know how it goes. No, it's been good. What can Molly Taylor do? Wait from the line, watch for the hyper drives. They all use them straight away. Pretty good traction. It is that outside line again. Taylor's got to shut the door as much as she possibly can. Big squeeze, half backwards, launch, and over. KMS after contact with their teammates. Tuck it into the right hander. Yesterday they ended with that car rolled into a ball. P2. After all, the Jamil Motorsport 